What's up everyone? Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Maybe you're not having the best day, but hopefully if not, we're going to make it a little bit better for you. Let's move our bodies a little bit together. Let's get better. Let's get fitter. We'll go ahead and see you in that workout right now. How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a splendid day. Hopefully you enjoyed that motivation. We're going to get right into a nice relaxing chair yoga workout to help your mobility improve your overall flexibility and just help you to be a little more relaxed throughout the day. So let's go ahead and start with some breathing. In and out, good. One more breath. And out, good. We're gonna start with our overhead reach. So for this one, you're just gonna reach as tall and as high as you can, actively stretching your fingers and your arms and your body out almost as if you're getting pulled way up to the ceiling. That's what I want you to feel. You wanna feel like you're getting pulled all the way up here. That's gonna give you the best stretch and slowly down. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but now we're gonna add our hands together in that prayer position. Big reach all the way up, nice and easy. Once you reach that highest position for yourself, you wanna keep your hands together. We're pushing our head through that tiny hole and we are breathing and holding good. Slowly bring down once again, and we're gonna reach all the way up. Hands to the side this time. One more on each, big, big reach. Again, remember, you're actively trying to get your arm pulled to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, as we come down, coming together with that hands together in our prayer position, big reach up to the sky all the way in and all the way out good slowly down nice and easy go ahead and rest those arms to the side we are going to move into a little bit of a hip opener this is going to be our pigeon pose we're going to bring our leg up onto our knee like so slowly push down onto that knee as we bring our torso forward. So I'm getting a nice stretch on the back of my butt muscle here, pushing down once again, bringing my torso to my leg. I'm just breathing and holding in this position, not doing anything too crazy. We're not forcing anything where it doesn't belong. We're just getting a good stretch in our own range of motion. Nothing needs to be forced at all. Good, go ahead and take one more deep breath. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. And we're actually going to hold in this position. We're going to move into a chair twist. So we're doing the pigeon pose with the twist. Go ahead and grab the side of your chair or behind your chair if you're able to. And slowly twist your body almost like you're trying to look behind your chair. That's how you know you're getting a good stretch. Go ahead and go as far and as long as your body will tolerate. And as much as a stretch you can handle on that back. We're breathing and holding once again and slowly relax let's go ahead and we'll repeat on that other side so we'll toss that leg up into position going to allow our hand to come down on that left side we are pushing down lightly on that leg bringing our torso down all the way towards our leg once again so i'm pushing down on that knee bringing that torso all the way down again breathing in this position we're not forcing anything we're just allowing our body to flow or allowing the stretch to feel out and however your body is today that's okay go give yourself and go with whatever your body can do good go ahead and relax sit up nice and tall we're gonna slowly ease into that twist on the other side again the, remember the thing you want to try to envision in this one is looking slowly behind yourself and breathing as you find that position and you breathe and hold just relax it again nothing needs to be forced breathe and hold slowly come back beautiful so we're going to bring those feet down in position next one we're going to do is our forward fold so we're going to cross our arms in front of our body like so scoot up in our chair and then we're just going to ease our body down in position all the way to the ground as low as we comfortably can allowing our lower back to relax, allow our lower back to rest as easy as possible, breathing in and breathing out. Again, not forcing anything. We're letting that lower back relax nice and easy 
all the way in, relax, relax, relax. Slowly sitting up nice and tall, taking a good deep breath. We want to make sure once we get into those bottom positions like that, that we do focus on breathing throughout because if you sit up too quickly, you might actually pass out. So we want to make sure we're constantly breathing to help relax our mind and our body. This next pose we're going to move into is our hamstring stretch. Go ahead and stick one leg out for me nice and straight. And what we're going to do is slowly move down and try our best to touch our toe. When we're doing this, we want to keep our leg as straight as possible. Always remember too, it's not so much the important part of touching your toe, it's actually more important to make sure that you are just keeping your leg nice and straight. So however low that gets for you, that's totally okay. Let's go ahead and we're gonna sit up nice and tall once again. Go ahead and kick that other leg out and we are slowly sitting down, trying to reach to touch that toe. Again, don't focus on the toe too much. Just focus on keeping your leg and your knee nice and straight. That's kind of the main key for this and the main name of the game. Breathing and holding as we get that position nice and locked in. And we'll go ahead and come all the way up. So the next what we're gonna do is move into our triangle pose. This one we're gonna do into two different phases. We're gonna start nice and high and get a little bit lower. So what we're gonna do is start by putting our right hand on the inside portion of our right leg, reaching up towards the sky and getting a nice twist through our body. You can actually use your right hand to kind of leverage and get a little bit more of a twist. We're breathing and holding, trying to be strong in this position being as strong as possible. Good, go ahead and slowly come down. We're gonna repeat with the same thing, arm on the other leg, so left hand on the inside of that left leg, reaching up to the sky. Once again, big far reach, using that hand to leverage, reach as high as you can, breathing and holding, breathing and holding. Good, slowly come back down once again. Relax that body as best as possible all the way down. So we are going to actually move into our triangle pose once again. And what this is going to do is a slightly lower down variation. So we're kind of warmed up with that higher variation. This time you're gonna to try to touch all the way down on the inside part of your right shoe with your right hand, but still reach up as high as possible. You won't be able to reach down quite as high and that's okay, that's how this one should be. But you're gonna try to get your best stretch there, reaching up as high as you comfortably can, breathing in and breathing out, that's the name of the game and for this one. And slowly relaxing, sitting up nice and tall, feeling that posture, and we're repeating once again on the left side. So bringing that left arm all the way down, touching it on the inside portion of that left leg, reaching our hand all the way up to the sky, and we're breathing and holding this position, letting our body be strong, letting our body be nice and relaxed. Good, go ahead and rest on that. All right, so for our next pose, we're gonna move into our cat and cow. So what we're gonna do is bring both of our legs together like so. We're gonna cross our arms in front of our body. And we're gonna slowly allow ourselves to come all the way down as far and as tight as we can. We're creating that nice tight ball with our back, trying to curve our spine, our lower back and our upper back, taking a big deep breath in this position. And slowly sitting up, letting that spine unravel nice and easy. We're pushing those arms to the side, opening that chest up to the world, breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful, slowly bringing back into those bodies, into those arms, trying to uh, cross them and get as tight as we can once again slowly coming down creating that tightness with our body breathing in and breathing out good sitting up nice and tall again remember you're slowly unraveling that spine pushing the chest out as far as you can taking a big breath in and a big breath out beautiful let's go ahead we're doing one more of these let's make it our best rep yet trying to cross our arms as much as we can, creating that tightness, a night tight ball, feeling that position out, going down as far as you can, curving that spine, curving that back, breathing in 
And once again, as you exhale, we're pushing that chest out all the way to the side, pushing those arms back. Big breath in, big breath out. Go ahead and relax. So we are finished with our yoga portion today. We're gonna finish with some deep breathing, meditation and relaxing to help you reduce your stress and reduce your anxiety through your life. So go ahead, sit back in your chair nice and comfortable, listen to this nice easy meditation, and we'll go ahead and begin. So we're closing our eyes, listening to my voice, and starting to focus in on our breath, breathing in through our belly, nice and calm, nice and comfortably, and slowly releasing all that air into the world. Breathing in through our belly and breathing out through the world. Nice and controlled, not forcing our breath where it doesn't belong or where it doesn't want to be. We are breathing in and breathing out on both directions. Breathing in, breathing out. Focusing on nothing but your breath you may have been stressed from the day, stressed from all the things going on in your world, but this is your time for yourself. You don't need to stress on anything else. All you need to do is focus on my voice, focus on the breath. As we take that big belly breath, hold for perhaps a second and relax all that breath. Take a note of your heartbeat. Is your heart slower? You probably notice the more you breathe, the more you allow your body to relax and not be forced into place that your heart can be relaxed. The more deep of the breath you take, the slower your beats become, and you almost feel as if your heart is stopping for just a second. Breathing in, breathing out. We're gonna do a little progressive muscle relaxation. Still focusing on our breath throughout the time we do this. We're gonna start down with our feet. Focus all your attention to your calf muscles and your feet muscles. What I want you to do is to tense those muscles up as hard and as tight as you can. Clenching those toes, clenching your calves, Trying to create as much tension through your ankles and feet as possible. And next, in one foul swoop, feel free to relax all that tension you've created. All that tension in your lower body is now gone. You can focus on breathing through that position. Big breath in through your belly. And big breath out through your mouth. We're going to go ahead and move slowly upstream to our legs now your thigh muscles back and front. I want you to do the same thing, but now tighten those thighs, tighten those leg muscles as much as possible. Clench down as hard as you can. Take a big breath in, big breath out. As you exhale, you release that tension, all the tension you created in your legs, now your upper thighs, and your calves and your feet are now gone. You can simply relax them, no need to stress. As we continue to move up into our torso and our tummy muscles, we're moving through that same sequence. So I want you to tighten your torso as much as possible. Clench that tummy almost like you're getting braced for impact or braced for a punch. Keep that area nice and tight as we take a big breath in. And big breath out, we're relaxing all that tension, relaxing everything through our body, nice and easy. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful, excellent job, everyone. As we continue to move up, we're going into our shoulders now and into our elbows and into our fists. Go ahead and clench your shoulders, clench your elbow muscles, clench all the muscles all around your fists. We want to create that tension through your shoulders. Take a breath out, relax, relax, relax all that tension you created in your arms, in your fists, your shoulders, torso, thighs, and down to your feet is relaxed. You will continue to breathe through the belly, 
hold for a second and relax that breath, relax that tension. We're moving up towards our last portion, being our neck, face muscles, ears, all the muscles surrounding our face. I want you to tense them, tighten them as much as possible, like you're trying to furrow your brow, you're frustrated at something, you're disgusted, maybe you're holding into a pucker, all those muscles around your neck and face tighten for me. Take a breath in and relax. Relax, relax, relax. Your entire body, all the way from head to toe, should be relaxed. All that tension we created, we did that intentionally to allow yourselves to relax even further. Breathing in and breathing out. Notice how great you feel. You feel completely with control of your mind and body, all the anxieties from the day are being pushed to the wayside as you're able to focus on this current moment, breathing in, breathing out, good. Breathing in and breathing out. Relax your body, relax your mind. Go ahead and finish the last few moments of class here, breathing at your own pace, all the way in and all the way out. No need to force anything, no need to rush. You're simply breathing, relaxing, enjoying the moment you have together. Focus in on your breath and enjoy the together. We'll take our final deep breath in our relaxed position. As we exhale, we'll slowly open our eyes back into our class together and we will be calm and collected for the rest of the day. Thank you for joining me for the exercise portion of this chair yoga class. We will see you in that fitness tip. So hopefully you all enjoyed that workout. Hopefully your body feels a lot more calm, relaxed, and your mind just feels ready to take on the rest of the day with that excellent chair yoga and a little bit of deep breathing and meditation. What I want to give you for your fitness tip for today is to take a few deep calculated breaths the next time you feel overwhelmed throughout your day-to-day -day life in anything you're doing. So maybe you're taking your dog for a walk, maybe you're at the grocery store, maybe you're just thinking about a bunch of different things and you're not doing anything at all. You may be just sitting and overthinking. Take five deep breaths, see how you feel. I bet you'll feel a lot better than you did before those five deep breaths. Thanks for checking out this exercise video. We'll see you in the next one.